Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking into this video today. Today's video is a makeup tutorial using all of my favorite products from the drugstore. Now some of these products I've used for the first time or in a different shade, but these are literally my top products. They compete for my top products in high end. They're literally that good. And so I did a full face using all those products. This is a Z look we came up with, well, I, I came up with, but you come along with me in this journey. And yeah, this is the look I came up with. And if you guys wanna see how I did it and which products are my favorite at the drugstore, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes just with a little bit of concealer and then set them with powder. That's probably why I look so crazy right now. So let's get into the eyeshadow first. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette in the color Rosé in the air. It's just so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of the Modern Renaissance Palette. Anyone else? So I'm just going to grab a crease brush, if I could find one. Here we go. And I think I'm going to go into... There's two transition colors, so I'm going to go into this one and mix it a little bit with this bottom one right here that's more camel-y colored. Okay, and I'm just going to put that right in the crease area. Yeah, see, it's really, really light. Maybe I'll just go into the other... The darker transition color and see there we go that's a little bit better I've used um, wet n wild palettes in the past and they are so good but especially these ones these color icon ones they're so good so I'm just circling this around my outer corner right here really building up the color and then I'm just blending inwards. Okay, next I'm taking a Smith 247. It's a brush that's kind of flat, as you can see. It's fluffy, but still fairly flat. And I'm going to go into <clears throat> this color because I just have to use it. It is so pretty. Gee. And I'm going to put this just on my entire lid. Look at that color, it's so beautiful. You definitely have to build it up a couple of times, but that doesn't bother me at all. And because our brush is flat but still fluffy, you can still blend with it and pack on the color. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a small round blending brush. This is a Smith 230, and very lightly dipping into that light transition color and a little bit into this one right here. I'm just gonna put this right where that color meets the crease, just so it's not such a harsh line right there. I want this to look really smooth, not like it's turning into a cut crease or anything like that. Okay, so next I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm gonna dip into this dark brown color right here, really packing it on the brush. And I'm gonna put this along my lash line. Just really messy, you don't have to be precise with this. This is more like a smoky, messy look. This is just gonna make everything more smoky. Okay, so the last couple of steps didn't record. I'm just gonna tell you guys what I did. I took this black eyeliner pen um, from Wet n Wild. It is their Wet n Wild Color Icon Cool Eyeliner. So I put this on my lash line and then I took a smudger brush and I went into the dark brown shade in the palette and I took my smudger brush and I really smudged out that black eyeliner and then I also put some um, black eyeliner in my tight line and that is where we are at. So we didn't miss too much. I don't know why this happens to me literally every tutorial. The YouTube gods hate me. They must, they, they must. Okay, okay. 
I'm going to take a flat shader brush now and I'm going to dip into this champagne -y color. I don't know if I should leave it matte or apply like a little bit of shimmer to the lid. I'm spraying that with Fix Plus and I'm just placing that in the inner corner. Okay, so for primer today, I am using the... There's a lot of Wet n Wild in this, but Wet n Wild is literally one of the best drugstore brands out there. This I haven't tried. It's actually new. It's the Wet n Wild Face Primer Dewy. Dewy Luminous. Luminous. That was a fail. But yeah, they had a dewy one and a matte one. Obviously, I went for the dewy one. So let's try this. Ooh, I thought it would be clear, but it is actually... Ooh, wait. <laughs> Way too much came out. It's actually a skin color, which is interesting. Now I just don't know if I should use this much of it, though. So I'm just going to take that and apply that to the skin. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's very, very luminous. <laughs> that was so dumb. Obviously, it's luminous because it's the luminous primer, but I thought it would be, like, more hydrating, but this looks like it's more shimmery. Kind of like a liquid highlighter would look. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this. This is really, really shimmery. Okay, so I look a little alarming right now. <laughs> I look a little bit crazy, but let's put some foundation on. I'm going to use my all-time favorite drugstore foundation, the Maybelline Dream Cushion. I love this stuff. I'm in the shade 30. This is just, it's so beautiful. It's, it's so like undetectable on the skin, and it gives you such a healthy look. Like it's not too glowy, but it's not too matte. It's that perfect satin finish. And it has the perfect amount of coverage, just enough to even everything out and make everything look very, very healthy, but not enough to make it look to where you look mask-like. I hate that feeling. I guess that primer underneath the foundation doesn't look too bad. Another favorite, favorite, favorite product of mine is the Maybelline Age Rewind. I think this is a favorite of everybody's. I have a fresh one here. I haven't used the, I was just about to say flavor, not flavor. I haven't used the neutralizer color yet, but I've heard great things about it. Okay, that took a while, but we, we got some. So I'm just gonna apply that under my, come on product. Yeah, I wanted to try the neutralizer color because I've heard really good things about it. And actually, that's actually a really pretty color. Oh, I put way too much there. So I'm just using this to highlight my skin as per usual. I've never said that before in my life. This is me trying to be cool for YouTube. So I'm just blending all that out with my beauty blender. This is such a nice concealer, like it has literally the perfect amount of coverage and it's so hydrating under the eyes, I absolutely love it. This is like a concealer that will look better as the day goes on instead of worse. It's better than so many high-end concealers, like it's really good. I look pale as shit right now so let's bronze up the skin another wet n wild product we have one of their new contour sticks this is really really pretty i'm excited to use this this is in the shade 805 i believe this was the medium shade so i always like to warm up a cream on my hand first so it kind of melts into the skin and i'm just going to 
If you guys watch my channel, you know I never put stripes all over my face first and then blend out. Just because the product can set too much at that point and be a lot harder to blend out. And it's just so much more complicated. Like, why wouldn't you just do it one at a time? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just blending this out with my beauty blender. Look how nicely that blended out. Wow. It is really pretty actually. So I'm gonna apply this contour to the perimeters of my skin. Not my skin, my face. Okay, I know I just said like, why would you draw lines all over? And then did that. But these area, this product is actually really easy to blend out. It's extremely creamy. It doesn't set too fast. So it kind of depends on the product and what you're most comfortable doing. Okay, so I applied a little bit of RCMA No Color Powder, also a very affordable product, um, to my under eyes. And we're going to finish the eyes real fast. I'm going to go in with that coal from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to line my uh, waterline with that. Okay, so now I'm going to take a smudger brush, and I think I want to use that same shade on my bottom lid too. I have a, a lot of trouble opening this palette, it's very sad. Okay, so I'm going to take my smudger brush and I'm going to go into this color. We are going to blend it out with um, some browns so it won't look so crazy. But I'm taking that and I'm putting it right along my lash line, kind of using it to smudge out that coal. Okay, so now I'm going to take a small pencil brush and I'm going to go into the two transition colors again. And I'm going to smudge out that color. And I'm also kind of connecting it right now to the top lash line. I'm also taking the Bones shade in the palette and I'm putting that really lightly on the brow bone. And you could also take the color down like this if you feel like you took your crease color a little bit too high. For mascara, I'm using the All May Mega Coat Mega Volume Something Something Mascara. It will be written down below. This is also another top favorite from the drugstore. Okay, so to put my eyebrows in place, I'm using the Maybelline Brow Drama um, Brow Definer. This will also take off all that makeup off your brows and make them look a little bit more fluffy. It also... Um, I believe it is like a fibrous product, so it also, it grabs onto all the hairs. Okay, finishing touches now. I am taking the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight. This is my, one of my top favorite, including high-end. This is one of my top favorite highlights, and they came out with a new color in rose gold, which is a beautiful pinky color. Oh my god, I am so excited to use this. So I'm taking that on my Anastasia A23 brush. This stuff, it like the gold color is so pretty, you guys. And I feel like this will go really nicely with the eye look. Oh my god, look at that. How beautiful. I'm also doing this before bronzer today. Just because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it'll look better. Ooh, I put a little bit too much on my forehead there. Okay, yep. Calm down, calm down. I'm also going to take a little bit of that down the nose. How beautiful is that, you guys? Okay, next I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. You absolutely do not have to do this step if you're happy with that cream contour. I just want to add a little... This is a very light bronzer. You really have to build it up. So I just want to add a little bit more color to my face, I feel like I look really pale. I'm also gonna take that around the forehead, around the jawline, and I'm gonna squeeze my brush and 
just go along the nose. This is a really pretty color that you can contour with too. Okay, so for blush today, I'm going to be, going to be? <laughs> for blush today, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon. Is everything color icon? And this is in the color Meadow Wine, Winer, something. I will list it down below. This is the color. It's such a beautiful peachy nude, my favorite kind of blush. And again, this is like one of the best blush formulas at the drugstore. I'm just smiling. And I like to take it upwards like this, almost to the temple. Okay, so for lipstick today, I used again Wet n Wild. I'm telling you guys, they're so good. I used the lip colors in 902C and 906D. One is more a pinky nude and the other one is more of a brownie nude. So I just mix them together to get a really nice nude. How many times can I say nude? <laughs> Okay, so to all my Calgary girls out there, I am giving away an Urban Decay Naked Original and Naked 2 palette. All you have to do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and then comment down below which of the two you're interested in, and then also your name on Facebook so that I have a way of contacting you. And yeah, that's all you have to do to win one of these. And yeah, I'm excited to pick a winner. This is my first giveaway. Yeah. And you guys, this is the final look using all of my favorite drugstore products. Even the products that I haven't tried up till now, I absolutely loved. I loved pretty much, no, not pretty much. I loved everything I used today. And I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and also hit the bell beside the subscribe button because that will notify you when I upload because for some reason YouTube doesn't want to tell people when I upload. So yeah, do all those three things and then I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye guys!